Good evening, Northern Arizona student forecaster Aaron Vidito here. Now the stats are in for September, courtesy of the National Weather Service here. Uh, taking a look at Flagstaff, Prescott, and Winslow specifically, starting with average temperature. We see Flagstaff, that's the wrong button. Let's go back here. Flagstaff at 60.2 degrees, Prescott 70, Winslow 69.3. Now, keep in mind that the, at the beginning of this month that we saw that cold front moving in from Canada, decreasing temperatures by a lot starting out, which is skewing the numbers a little bit, just not too much. But what I really want to pay attention to is the precipitation. Now, we reported that we had the driest monsoon season on record in September was no exception. Here in Flagstaff and over in Winslow, they saw trace amounts of precipitation. This means we saw some in some parts of the city, but it was not measurable. Now in Prescott, they only saw 0 .03 inches, and for all cities, basically, it's really dry. Uh, Flagstaff and Winslow here, 0% of our typical precipitation, uh, bringing Flagstaff to the driest September on record, actually. Not just monsoon season, but driest September. But taking a look going forward, it looks like we might be out of the woods. Now, a lot of these dry temperatures, dry conditions, rather, are really courtesy of the high-pressure system here. Uh, you might have heard the term high and dry. High-pressure system, dry conditions, basically what that means. Now, we've basically been surrounded by a straw, high pressure system for a while, but looking at the Pacific coming uh, you know, from the Pacific eastward, we're seeing this low pressure system moving westward. And so this is going to end up moving toward Flagstaff. And basically, this high pressure system is going to kind of dissipate, move out of the way, and we're going to see kind of some more moist, moist conditions in addition to uh, temperatures dropping coming up. So we might get a fall yet. And speaking of temperatures dropping, we're taking a look at Flagstaff currently 73 degrees starting to drop for tonight for those basically really average temperatures uh, for our lows. And I want to point that out. It's pretty interesting. Now, during the day, we see high temperatures here, high of 80 for today, pretty close to our record, 81 set in 1987. And fun fact, yesterday was about, I believe, 83. Uh, I have to double check, but that's pretty close to a record as well. But our low, 35 degrees, exactly on average for what it's supposed to be at nighttime. Uh, so it's pretty interesting, and pretty soon the highs and the lows are kind of going to match each other for, uh, you know, pretty average temperatures. Looking at our high temperatures across the state for today, 93 in Sedona, 86 pace in 103 in Phoenix. Pretty above average temperatures, uh, but we're going to start seeing a cooling trend here soon. Looking tonight, 35 degrees. We're going to see some clouds move in, which is pretty interesting. Some calm winds, and those clouds, for once, are going to move into tomorrow as well, bringing our... Um, high of 78 degrees, the beginning of our cooling trend. So it's not going to be super cool yet, but it is the start of something here. Uh, season clouds move in, wind gusts up to 23 miles per hour. Now, most of the day, we're probably just going to see kind of some light breezes, um, but, you know, there's a chance it'll get up to 23 miles per hour. So just prepare yourself for that. Uh, wind, cool temperatures uh, it can be an interesting combination, but we don't have to worry about that quite yet. Now across the state, 90 in Sedona, 88 pace in 103 Phoenix. Relatively the same as today, but the beginning of the cooling trend. But we're not really going to see the effects of that cooling trend until uh, Thursday, moving into the rest of the week here. Uh, 76 degrees on Thursday here, Friday 73. And going into the weekend, we're going to see temperatures go down to the 60s. Uh, Saturday, 69 degrees, pretty nice. Sunday, 67. And I want to look at that low on Sunday, too. Notice the low here, 30s and everything, close to freezing, not quite. Sunday just goes all the way below freezing. I had to triple check this number here, 28 degrees. Some think, uh, say 30, 31, but no matter what, it's going to get below freezing at night. So keep that in mind. I know a lot of us still have our fans on our windows and everything. Um, so just prepare for potential below freezing temperatures going into the weekend. But um, all in all, pretty, uh, it's going to start getting pretty low. Next week, we might even see some moisture, small chance of precipitation, but we'll, of course, have more for that uh, coming up next week. And speaking of things coming up, make sure you stay tuned for sports after the break. Stay with us.